back to my channel today's video i'm going to show you again the special features of the 5.1 plus the nokia 5.1 plus and here's the phone i love this phone and actually on my blog on my channel you see the my blog before that i'm selling this one to the customer and the name of the blog is the best mobile and budget price so i show it to the customer but i want to to show you how to do it the special features of nokia 5.1 plus i always selling this one to the store because i love it because of the budget price the design wise and I, I love holding this phone it's because it's giving me satisfaction and a lot of things which is super nice and, it's, and the, the wi-fi speed is very awesome you can try this one guys believe me you'll be satisfied if you're looking with a budget price range you can try to go back in nokia because it's amazing because nokia now is a pure secure up-to-date system it's the latest android now in the market they did not create the system they buy everything on the Google because Google is the owner of the Android and Google has their own system they call it Android One which which whatever the latest updates that they will create you will get it in Nokia. Nokia is one of the top brand which is goes with the with the unique system with the goes with the latest system for the Android. So try it. And we're gonna start right now from the from the camera and what are the things that you can find here in Five Point One Plus. Let's begin number one so the camera so you can see the camera is a really amazing it has 12 and 5 megapixels of the back camera it's really amazing when you take pictures for someone but the cool things about it it's not like a normal pictures but then again a lot of options that you can do in the camera over here downside you will find if you update your phone you can find here what we call the slow motion the video the photo which is normal the pro the person who loves you know changing the, the the components or the, the properties of the, the photo and we have the live bouquet or we call it the portrait the panorama and the square all right that's the the, the the key parts of the camera then again on the top you will see some kind of things when you go back to the photo there's a google lens down uh, up there so you see a circle with the square that's a google lens and you see the star over there that's the one that you can use for edit uh some kind of image or something stops that you can lose in effect on your face or whatever and we have the beautify and uh, the, the icon of a person where you can make the dual camera and the timer and the flash well, those are the things of the components of camera however giving you a best features which is very, very unique features where a normal phone cannot provide the starting i will start with this kind of thing so first thing how to do the dual camera with the 5.1 plus all right you see the icon one person on top you see a human icon over there when you tap it there's kind of three things that you can do. One is the dual where the camera goes and split like this, where you can see the photo, the where you can see the photo of the back and photo in the front side. So that's a unique feature. So you see here, I'm lagging. This is the camera that I'm using, the phone that I'm using. By the way, I'm using the Oppo Reno to show well, the Oppo Reno in terms of video recording. So because the quality of video is good, but and I want to blog on this phone, so you see my front side also, right? There's a two camera working together at the same time. That's what we call the dual, dual side mode, all right? And that's going to be already included on the system of camera of 5.1 plus. So you can take a photo, you can take shot, a nap over there, all right? And you can take also the video together at the same time also. And the cool idea here is, when, in terms of video, you can make it live direct to Facebook and to the YouTube. And if you're planning to create it, it's going to be it's showing on the top the application that you can make it live so people can see what you're seeing and they will see you also at the same time and this is going to be good when you're selling some kind of product on the facebook if you're going to show the place the facebook if you're, not, if you're, not, if you're going to go in a place where you're going out of town and you want to to see your your friends that you are here together with the with the environment you're going to appreciate the dual side mode and that's good also and plus thing you can make it zoom by the way as you can see this is the camera and doing some record and it's here and you see uh, the photo of the, the backside camera that you can see and the good thing about this is you can make it zoom to my face like i say like this so you're gonna see my hand my, my eyes my nose and everything because while the cameras are doing perfectly fine together you can make it zoom on whatever things that you like let's say uh, you're gonna go in the environment and you want to zoom that kind of beautiful you know mountain over there while seeing in the camera you can do that that's amazing example of that 
you think that's gonna be good price, this is gonna be good price, and all of things you will appreciate and satisfy. And I want you to know the special features of this, all right? It's not like ordinary phone. Most of the customer buying this phone, they don't know about this fish, these features. So I want you to know these special features that, that you can use for Nokia 5.1 Plus, all right? So uh, let's move on together. We have finished on that. So let's go back to what we call kind of thing that you can do a snapshot i know most of the phone has it let me show you let me show you one thing like this so press the star after the one icon by the way not only the dual side that you can find inside of that is what we call pip or picture in pictures when you show the pip features features you're gonna see the the main camera which is opening at the back and the front side uh the front side camera which is in a small one the good the cool things about that sorry about it Let's go back. The cool things about that is just like you want to make bigger on the the front side that you're seeing. You, you want to see your salt in the small one here. So you can do that by doing some PIP like pictures in pictures, right? So you get you can move it anywhere on the camera if, as long as you are free from photo mode. That's a good thing about this, alright? So let's move on back. So we have also what we call while doing some dual shot, you will find some one and two beside. When you're doing some dual shot, there's like one and two. Let's call the twice shot off and twice shot on. When you enter the twice, twice, let's say twice shot on, you can actually take a pictures both together like that. That's a twice shot off. When you enter the twice shot on, means you can select what area you're going to take a shot. Let me give you an idea. Is the camera? So I will, I will take a pictures on the front side. And the other side, I can choose. Let's say I'm gonna go back here, front of you, taking pictures like this. So that's what we call the twice shot, or where you can select object, where you can be mixed together like this. That's amazing, right? Yeah, that's what that's, that's that's good. So that's what we call the twice shot on on this camera. So a lot of pictures that you can find in 5.1 plus. And then we are starting the camera side, all right? Or right, let's move on to the start uh, to the star sign here on the top. So that's gonna be like some kind of effect that you can use on or image that you can use on your face and actually goes in the other devices. But in the budget price, it's amazing for me. When I make it to the camera, you will find here a lot of uh, things that you can edit, let's say the flowers, the panda, and the some kind of animals like that. You can see my face now. Yeah, you have some kind of flowers. That's all called the star that you can, you can see over here. That's the one on it, all right? Let's go there. You can select also the panda if you would like it, right? And there's also what we call, you know, <laughs> like, you know, carbo on that. Alright. So in here also, you can also actually use this kind of imaging to express yourself without having your face. Like what, whatever your facial reaction can be carrying of this. And you can send someone to the WhatsApp and everything with the voice also. Where you can see the the Apple also and the iPhone. That's some really good features of that, by the way. If you're looking with the budget again, when you're looking with the budget price, you can try the Nokia 5.1 Plus. It's amazing. Maybe it's a good one. Right? And also this kind of flash that you can find here. What else we, we have here? This kind of flash, you know. You can actually change the lightning of your environment. Depends on you. Depends when you are comfortable. So we are now in the in camera. You can see you can see actually the demonstration of the 5.0 plus over here on this phone. All right, let's move on to the what we call on the top again. So you see on the top again a lot of features. We're gonna go this this the, the, the features that we like the Google Lens. See the Google Lens is a part of uh, the Google system, so it allows you to track everything you have like clothes and things by yeah, by by opening the Google Lens and pointing to the object like my watch over here. So if you cannot see your, your watch, then again, the similarity of the object can be seen also in the internet. So Google Lens is a part like you can track something and it directly goes in the internet and to show you what is that and what is the similarity of that. And even the good thing here is the language. You can translate language by using it. And here we are. The price is a good price. It's only five ninety nine dirhams. It's going to be $164 then again. And exactly like 9,000 pesos in the Philippines. That's why I want to show you. And this phone, let's go back. So here's my watch over here. 
here's gonna be the Google Lens. You can see the voice Google Lens here on the camera, all right? We're gonna try it right now. I tap it and you're gonna see the watch come here, all right? Within a second, you'll see the circle over there. When I take a picture, it's showing on top and it's gonna be searched outside here, all right? That's gonna be good part of the Nokia 5.1 Plus. And also you can translate language by using this. So to, to do that, you're gonna walk, walk it off. So let's say, I have, I have a papers over here. It's the papers. And it's written in English. And I want to change it in different kind of language. So what I'm gonna do, since it's already Google Lens opening, so I just uh, write this. I'm gonna point to the words, or if you want like the whole, no problem. But we're gonna go with the off things so I tap it so it's gonna be like that so you got three things to do when you actually scan the text okay let me show you and here we are downside I know it's very very hard to read but let me you know tell you what is that so the Google Lens maybe when you take a, a, a text sometimes it's gonna show you the object well, well, what's the name or where is it below but the idea is not actually that you just long press the words you have three things where it shows downside. There's a copy, there's a search, there's a translate. So meaning you got three things to do on the text. Copy, search, translate. So right now, I'm going to translate this one. I'm going to press translate. So you can translate it in any kind of language. It goes in the internet like this. It's a Google Translate, right? Yeah, all right. So you can choose whatever whatever language or Arabic or whatever language do you do like. That's a good thing about this phone. Alright, the Google Lens. I love this phone because of the good price. Also. Hello guys, yes. come back again because uh, my, my vlog was interrupted because someone's calling me from the store. We're doing the vlog in the store. And we're gonna continue right now. So we are in the Google Translate. It's gonna be, I, got, I guess you already pick up the things or know the things that I showed to you already. Alright, now move on to the thing we'll called that downside. Anyway, you know how to use the beautification, right? In terms of using beautification downside, you can actually navigate or adjust what kind of brightness and what kind of beautify on the, on the pictures that you want to take, right? Let's move on downside. We're going to show the panorama. There's a live bouquet. Live bouquet is the one. Here. Panorama, you know the panorama, right? You can make like uh, white features. You can do it by using the panorama. You just move your, your phone like this. That's why do why opening the panorama, right? To make to do some to have some kind of white white features. Live OK, Live OK is amazing. Live OK is called like for me it's, it's um portrait and other devices like iPhone. This is the mode of like portrait where when you take a pictures the background is gonna be blurred. What the good thing of live OK is so deep that when you take pictures you see the your body you know separated from the background and the background is gonna be blurred. That's a good thing of the bouquet of this. It's more deeper also. And the phone is really gay, great, it's a good price. I swear to you, you will love this. And when you try the bouquet, you will feel like you're in a wedding, like a prenup. You take shot, background's gonna be blurred, like you're holding a DSLR. You don't want to buy DSLR on that time. You have the phone to use with. That's good for you, believe me. It's very good, very in demand. All right. In live bouquet also, you can also adjust the deep, the deep of the, the portrait or the blurry background. So. Let me give you some, some of the shots that I made in blurred background. Here's the shot that I made. One, two, three, four, five. This is the shot that I made with the um, blurred background. Just open the live bouquet and you can get the shot. I swear to you. The Pro is the one you can adjust the ISO aperture. If you are the person who knows how to take shot and you want to do it by your own or to do manual, you can adjust the Pro by yourself. The photo, you know the photo. There's a video and the slow motion. So if you love watching some kind of, you know, activity outdoor or outside, like playing basketball, basketball or doing some cricket, you can actually use the slow mo. Or you're in a party, you can actually use the slow mo to have some kind of slow slowness of on the the moving objects. That's a cool. And there's a time lapse. So that's one of the main features in a, in the camera. And the next step, we're gonna move on to to the speed of the wifi of this phone. All right, we're gonna use now the YouTube because the ratio of this phone is 19 by 9, so you can appreciate it in watching YouTube. So use the YouTube right now. We're gonna search the video like this. 
Alright, in the YouTube the video up upload, it's gonna be 16 by 9. But since you got 19 by 9 phone ratio, use the video from the YouTube. It's really great, it's very good sounds also. The video you can use as a high definition. And the good thing about this, you can make pinch out and can make zoom. So you can watch your 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 favorite movie or, or whatever video you want in the full screen. And even gaming you can do that. That's amazing for this. Pinch in, it's gonna go back to the normal but pinch out. It's gonna be great. See the sounds. Amazing. The resolution of the phone for me is the best. You can actually see the, the clarity of this if you see it with your two eyes. Try it. And the sounds really amazing. Now, now this phone. If you are a gamer, you are actually a gamer, you're playing a mobile gaming, mobile area, PUBG, a lot of games, which is using the phone, believe me, you're gonna try this because this phone is amazing. For Mobile Legend, PUBG, for the online players using the mobile, if you want to buy a phone which is good for gaming, you can try the Nokia 5.1 Plus. Because in here, it's gonna be good in terms of the graphics because it has P60. P60 is more modern gaming. Alright, that's what I explained to you. It's gonna be good for gaming. For those persons who love Mobile Legend, especially when you play PUBG. Alright, PUBG is a high game. The graphics, you can set the graphics. This one gonna be goes on HD. Most of the phone with the same price gonna be goes in the balance in terms of graphics. Because this one has a high processor, so you cannot you can move on to the high graphics. You can move on from balance to HD when you're playing PUBG. So you can try this one. It's a really good for navigate also. See that? Means Alright guys. Believe me, it's good. It's a fast charging type C also. So super fast charging so what else we can say about this phone it's amazing and uh, nokia promised you to, pro to pro pro sorry nokia promised you to provide two years of upgrade system and believe me it's gonna be good so nokia 5.1 plus try it guys it's amazing i hope you enjoy my video and please subscribe more subscribe to my video to my channel Press the, the, the link down below so you're gonna be uh, so you're gonna be update always on the, the new new video that I'm going to upload to the Facebook. Alright? If you and this phone, you know, since this Android one is gonna be fast and downloading speed, it's directly from the from the Google. So expect it's more faster. It's more good also, see? The way I'm holding it is good one. It's not, it's not big, it's not small, it's a medium sized phone with a bigger screen, 5.8. Alright guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed my vlog. Have a good day, until the next time, see you.